The RC600 has a variety of built-in effects, some of which are different ways you can apply harmony to your voice or instrument. If you want to hear what they all sound like on your vocal track, you're in the right place. All effects for vocal harmony on the Boss RC600 coming up after this. Hello again everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, where have you been? There's lots of content on the RC600 and still plenty more to come, so do consider subscribing to the channel to stay in the loop. Anyway, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and select different harmonies within the RC600 and I'll explain the key differences between the auto harmony and the manual harmony effects. I'll demonstrate what each harmony sounds like and then later on in the video I will combine multiple harmonies so that you can hear what it sounds like if you wanted to add another vocal part to create more depth and texture to your performances. Now obviously we have the option to add up to four input effects at any one time which means there are many possibilities and combinations to apply so we'll just stick to adding one and two effects in this video otherwise we could be here all day. Um, so we'll just stick to a couple of, of vocal effects rather than adding three, four, five par harmonies. Now to access the harmony effects, you will go to loop and you'll press it twice and then you've got access to your input and track effects here. So you're going to select input effects and then if you go into any one of your input effects, you can then choose the, all of the different input effects that you've got. Now we just have to look at the couple of different harmony options, which is an auto harmony and a manual harmony. What you need to remember though, if you don't know much about how to apply the effects, is that there are four effects that you can have in each bank, and then you've got four banks. So that means you can actually have up to 16 different input effects preset per memory. But remember, you can only use one bank of effects at a time. So you can't turn on all of your effects in bank A, then move up to bank B, and then use those effects at the same time. The previous bank will be turned off. So you have to bear that in mind when you're setting up your different effects and including the harmony effects that you might want to use. So there are a few different parameters. If we just go into, uh, we'll have a look at the auto harmony first. There's a few different parameters that can be changed on both of the harmony effects. It's slightly different on the auto than it is on the manual, but we'll go over each of them anyway. So the first parameter is the voice. So that's um, going to give you the option to change between what kind of interval that, you're, that you want your uh, harmony to be. So obviously on auto harmony, we've got um, slightly different options that we would on manual. We'll talk about them in a minute. And then we've got the, the formants, which is basically um, the, the vocal character of the harmony. So you can adjust that by you know, going up. And remember, if you push down and then turn it, it changes a bit quicker. So you might want to adjust your formants if you wanted to change the vocal character of your particular harmony. Then we've got the, um, to the right of that, we've got the pan. So obviously we can pan the harmony left or right as we wish. Um, and then if I just page across here, you can see I've got a mode on the auto harmony so I can leave it on auto or I can switch it to hybrid and that's going to mean I can change to different keys a bit like what I can do on the manual. I'll talk a bit about that in a bit more detail later. Then I've got the D level, which is the direct level of the microphone that you're, that you're using to sing or instrument, if you were. And then the effect level, which is the overall effect of the harmony. So if you had your direct level all the way down and your effect level up, you're only going to hear the harmony. And then vice versa, if you only had direct and the effect level right down, you're not going to hear any harmony at all. And that's it for the auto harmony feature. Um, Remember that the auto harmony will give you the extra option of the harmony mode, which is based on MIDI note messages. So if I just go back into that for you, this is the mode itself. So it's based on MIDI note messages as opposed to you playing some chords on your guitar. That's the only way that the RC600 can receive the information. So a common misconception is that you could play chords from your guitar, which will allow you to achieve better results for your harmony like you can do on, on other Boss FX pedals, but in this case, it's just MIDI note messages that can be read by the RC600. So let's take a look at the options for the auto harmony again. So let's just look over here. We've got unison for the voice. This is gonna duplicate the main part and give the impression that the, another person is singing the same melody. Then we can go up, toggle up there to high, and I've got the high, I've got higher, and I've got an octave above. So obviously those are just based on the harmonies of the diatonic scale. So it depends what, what you're singing. It could give the third, the fourth, above, below, etc. If I go the other way, we've got low, lower, 
and then the octave below. Now the unison in the middle and the octave are the same, but you obviously have the, uh, the options to select third and fourth and the sixth above on the other one. So if I just go back, uh, sorry, I'll just change it there. I go to manual, everything else is the same with the exception of being able to add the key. We can obviously, if we want to set the key for D major, we can do that or it's relative minor, which is in brackets below. And then if I just go back a couple of pages, oh, not that one, uh, go back to there again, you can see now I've got a few more options. So I've got my unison and now I've got options to sing a third above, as mentioned a minute ago. I've got fourth above, I've got the fifth above, sixth above, and the octave is the same. And now if I go back, I've got the third below, fourth below, fifth below, sixth below, and then octave below. So the key differences there are you're actually selecting which interval you want your harmony to be. So obviously many different combinations, and I'm gonna sing through some of those a bit later on. But before we do that, let's get into how each of the individual harmony sound. Here we go. Ooh, high harmony. Ooh, higher harmony. Ooh, octave above. You're listening to the third above. You're listening to the fourth above. You're listening to the fifth above. You're listening to the sixth above. You're listening to the octave above. You're listening to the third below. You're listening to the fourth below. You're listening to the fifth below. You're listening to the sixth below. You're listening to the octave below. You're listening to the unison. We've got the third and fourth above now. We've got the third and fifth above now. We've got the third and sixth above now. We've got the third and octave above now. We've got the third in unison. We've got the third and fourth below. Now we've got the third and fifth below. Now we've got the third and sixth below. Now we've got the third and octave below. Now we've got the third and unison. Third above and third below. Fourth above and third below. 
fifth above and third below, sixth above and third below, octave above and third below, unison and third below. Third above and third below. Fourth above and third below. Fifth above and third below. Sixth above and third below. Octave above and third below. Unison and third below. Third above and fifth below. Fourth above and fifth below. Fifth above and fifth below. Sixth above and fifth below, octave above and fifth below, unison and fifth below, third above. An octave below, fourth above an octave below, fifth above an octave below, sixth above an octave below, octave above an octave below. Third below and third above, fourth below and third above, fifth below and third above, sixth below and third above, octave below and third above. Unison and third above. Third below and fifth above. Fourth below and fifth above. Fifth below and fifth above. Six below and fifth above, octave below and fifth above, unison and fifth above. Octave below and octave above.
Low and lower harmony, low and octave below, low and unison, low and high harmony, low and higher harmony. Low and the octave above. So there we go folks, lots of different options to provide harmony to your vocals in the RC600. Let me know in the comments if you're even using the effects, or whether you find them good or not so good. You might not be using them at all. And if you're using, uh, you know, you might be getting better results using separate FX units such as the VE500, let me know down below. If you have found the video useful, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel to stay in the loop and support the channel through the various links below. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta.